let's uh, practice diagramming and see if you can figure out how to diagram this sentence. I know what I did might seem strange. So you can pause it here and take, your, take a crack at how to diagram this and then we'll go through it together. All right, so, uh, well, we have certainly a subject, we, we have several subject verb combinations here. Um, I know is the first one, so we might start with that and just trying to figure out what's going on in the sentence. And the first thing we can do is say, okay, is there a direct object here? And we do that by asking the three word question, what is, and then we use the past participle of the verb. What is known? Is there an answer to that question? And indeed, there is. What is known? Well, what is known is that what I did might seem strange. Now notice I inserted a that there, uh, which is what you would do if you were asked that question. If somebody didn't hear what you said, I know what I did might seem strange, and they said, what, what do you know? And you would say that what I did might seem strange. That's what. So we know that there's an invisible that here. I know that what I did might seem strange. So, um, if we start out, well, where shall I start? I'll start here. I'll draw a baseline. And we have I, and we have no. And we show that there is a direct object there. And uh, I know that what I did might seem strange. Well, we know we've got some, some subordinate clauses here. Uh, uh, excuse me, we've got nominal clauses. We've got clauses that function as nouns. So we're going to need a, a pedestal to put them on. So let's draw a pedestal here. So, What's going to go on this pedestal is that what I did might seem strange. Well, what might seem strange? So now let's get the other, the other subject verb combinations. Well, I actually should start here. I did. That is a subject verb combination, so that's going to be here somewhere. But there's another subject verb combination, and that is what is the subject here of might seem strange? What might seem? What I did might seem. That's what. So we've got uh, a situation here where what I did is functioning as the subject of might seem. So what might seem? What I did. That's what might seem. So if we know that might seem, whoops, got a little carried away there, might seem, and we can carry this on a bit because seem strange, this much is clear, strange is a subjective complement, so we get this slanty line here. What might seem strange? Well, now we need another pedestal. And the subject here, so what I did is what might seem strange, so that's the subject, and the, that's the subject of might seem, and in this uh, uh, clause here, this nominal clause, uh, I is the subject, did is the verb, and what was done, what was done. Is there a direct object here? There is indeed. What was done? What? That's what. So we put that, what, right there. And now we just have one thing left because what do you know? You know that what you did might seem strange. And so to uh, take care of that elided that, the invisible that, that is just assumed, it's this clause that has the that in front of it. The, that is the whole thing. What is the that? That what I did might seem strange. In other words, that 
it might seem strange. The that is not coming in front of this clause, this nominal clause, what I did. It's coming again, it's coming in front of this whole big clause, the whole thing that's functioning as the direct object. So it needs to ascend from might seem, and we'll just put it in a little penthouse up here, and when the, when the that is elided, we put it in brackets to show that it doesn't actually appear in the original sentence. So this is what the diagram looks like for the sentence, I know what I did might seem strange. So we've got two clauses that are functioning as nouns. What I did is one clause, and what I did might seem strange is the other clause.